Hey y'all, Sarah Lou Who here, and today I'm going to be playing Fran Bo. Now, I've been meaning to play this game for a while, but like some financial stuff came in the way a few months ago when it first came out, and uh, never got around to playing it, but now I am going to start it up. So, Fran Bo time! This, okay, everything's fine. Yeah. It feels like heaven. Oh, that's creepy adorable. <laughs> I see my parents. Oh, you guys are terrifyingly lovely. They look happy. They have a present for me. I wonder... A picnic? What is it? It's a kitty! It's a cat! So sweet and pretty. Oh, dark as the deepest night. My neighbor's cat has actually been hanging around our porch a lot lately. It's Mr. Midnight! My best friend. I love cats. Don't have one, though. My only friend. Aww, that's adorable. We are having dinner, and I see Aunt Grace, too. I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. And leaving you home unattended. Oh, no, okay. Aunt Grace is there. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the cat! It's so cute! We are having so much fun! Oh my god, that's adorable. Oh, it has a little butthole. <laughs> it's Monday night. I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. But something feels real bad. Oh shit. <laughs> a strange creature outside my window. It is Lord Satan. He has come to take our souls. I don't like it. It scares me. Suddenly, I hear something. Oh, jeez. It's Mom, screaming. Don't go, little friend. I want to know what's wrong. A bright light shines from my parents' room. Oh, this is bad, isn't it? <laughs> I go closer. Yes, and what do we see? And closer. Oh, uh, jeez. Mom? Dad? Oh. Jeez. Please don't. Turn away, little Fran. Turn away. Oh, shit. Mommy? Daddy? Oh, wow. That's messed up. Wow. I expected it to be dark. I just didn't expect it to... Go straight there, Gecko. Kitty? What do your cat eyes see? Oh no. What's wrong? Don't hide. Go back to Fran. Oh, it's people. Are they good people? Nope, they are cultists. Oh crap. <laughs> That's wonderful. Fran, please, follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. Oh, we're being hypnotized. Okay, one, two, and three. Woo, three, yeah, there we go. Oh, cool. Fran, how do you feel? This is gorgeous. Look at this. Um, I'm fine, I guess. I'm fine, I guess. Just sad to see the same things. Sadness is something everybody has within. Um... Killer? I want to fight the killer. I really want to know who killed my parents. The police are working on it. I'll find my cat. I'll find my cat and the killer. Yeah, I'll find the killer and my cat. Your cat is missing. It would be impossible to get him back. But now I have something for you, Fran. And what is it? What is it? See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Yay! Aunt Grace gifts. What is it? This was my mother's purse. Aw, poor little Fran. Open it. There is something inside. Okay. Okay. Use? I can't use this. I should examine. Oh, this is familiar! I used to play games like this all the time. 
Oh my god. Okay, say I'll talk about it later. Dearest friend, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. <laughs> so I hope you always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love and grace. She is worried about you. Um, I'm worried too? I'm worried too because I'm not crazy and still here. Stop it, you are out of control, young lady. So tired of all this, or can I leave now? Should we be sassy or angry? Let's be sassy. Can I go to my room now? Yes, you can leave, but before you do, it is time for your new medicine. What medicine? Great. It's called Woo. Duo team. And it will make you feel very relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. Oh, yay, forcible medication. Anything new today, Dr. Dern? Nothing, actually. Same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, Fran, take your medicine. Uh, can we examine anything else before we do? We don't have all day, Fran. Take the pills now. Screw you, Dr. Dern. I'll shove these in my mouth. Are you happy? Hide them under your tongue. <laughs> Is that right? I don't feel good. Oh, nope, she actually took him. Shit! Oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh no, take her back to the room. No, it's like, and nurse, don't let her take this ever again. <laughs> don't take her to a hospital or anything when she immediately takes a pill and drops to the ground. It's not a sign of, oh, I don't know, an allergic reaction or anything. Oh god, beware, friend Bo. If you leave the house of madness. Yes. Yes, Satan? What? I will hunt you down. Catch you. And bring you back to insanity. Fuck you, Satan. Oh my god, Kitty! Friend, wake up! Kitty! Oh yay! The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. Thank you, Kitty. You're awesome. I love you. Oh, we love you too, Kitty. <laughs> oh, Mr. Midnight. That was his name. I just call all cats Kitty because I don't own cats. And I shouldn't name them or else I'll get attached. <laughs> uh, chapter 1. My Sober Day. Okay. What are we doing here? Oh, this is very cheerful looking. Franny? Are you okay? Freddy Fran? Wake up, little girl. Oh, shoot. Dang, I skipped it. Um, I have to get out of here. My bad. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to skip it. I thought I had to do something. I was wrong. Oh, this game. It's great. It reminds me, like, this whole thing reminds me of when I was younger, I used to play games like The Longest Journey in Siberia, and oh my god, I love games like this. So, this is my forte. Oh, sweet. Sweet melody. And yeah, no, this game looks like really cool to me because it reminds me of like Alice, like American McGee's Alice. Um, history. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy details omitted. Treatment. Dr. Marcel, Marcel D. Dern has tried different medications and all have been canceled because of side effects. Okay, we're in the 40s. Great. Good to know. Creepy ass clown. I will get your nose. I'll get it! Locked. Good reason to get curious. Exactly. I don't want to. I just woke up. Well, nobody's asking you to, Fran. Okay. Hopefully this won't fall on my head while I'm sleeping. That's... Why would you think that? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I could still walk around it and see what's on the other side. We'll do so. Well, can we look at the notes? Okay. Red and tiny, you're hiding from me. Hate the monster. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he is afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. Okay. So we have to find the medication to find Mr. Midnight, even though they don't want us taking it anymore. Okay, what's on the other side of the curtain? Oh, a child. Hi. 
How are you, little boy? Hello, Phil. Hello. Um, no any way out. How are you? It's been nice. Everybody says that I'm sick. <coughs> Don't worry, Phil, I'm sick too. Ugh. They are just stupid. They always say that. They're just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? Um, I will if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. Yay, there's a key inside? Okay, Phil. I saw the doctor write a secret code. Oh, do we have to, like, punch in buttons or something? A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Let me guess, Dr. Dern? Him. Oh, no. Him who? Shit, Satan, why? Oh my god, all doors are closed. You are the prisoner of my games. Oh my god, go away, Satan. Shoo, nobody wants you here, and nobody will help you escape. Okay, Satan, goodbye. <laughs> Leave me alone, I hate you. Mommy, Daddy, I need you so much right now. No, I won't let that monster stop me. Oh my god. <laughs> that is beautiful. Oh, oh, a secret box. Shush. Okay, let's um examine it. Yes, this. I want to examine that. A little box. It's open. Okay, open it. A key! This will certainly open something. Alright then. Um, what else can we find in here? You gotta examine everything in these kind of games. Because you never know what's going to be of use. Okay, we have a little blue dress just like yours. Fillmore, age 8. Okay. The patient came to Oswald Asylum with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy w uh, has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia has not yet diagnosed. Um, daily treatment with Dr. Marcel Dern. We have not achieved the patient's trust. And he refuses to be questioned. With good reason, I'm sure. Anything else? Rocking horse? Oh, what did Mr. Horse? Are you having a good time? If I sit down, I'll eventually get up, so what's the point? <laughs> that is a good question. Okay, let's go and explore the other side of the room before we head out. Because like I said, with these kind of games- Hi, old lady. My legs are just fine. She doesn't like sitting too much, does she? Empty bottles and glasses. Nothing useful. Towels. I don't need towels. I don't think I need any of this scotch. Uh, let's see. Hello, what do you got here? Oh, I want to know what she's writing. I'm curious. Hey! Hey, old lady. Hello, friend. Good to see you awake. How long was I was uh, was I asleep? <laughs> Three days, maybe. Hmm. Was it the medicine that made me sleepy? Yeah. Yes, it was the medicine. That's why you're not taking it again. Oh, I see. But Giddy told me to take the medicine. I have to find it. Your cat told you. Then it must be a really evil cat. Mr. Midnight is not evil. How dare you? You shouldn't say things about anyone you don't know. Oh, sorry for being realistic, Dago. I'm working. Hmm. Can I do anything about her? I guess the nurse would never let me touch anything. So we have to find a way to distract her. Okay, let's get out the door. And find what lies on the other side. The key to our madness, undoubtedly. Of course it's locked. Um, we need this. On that. The key is too tiny. Oh. Hmm. Questions and questions. Where could this key go? Oh! Of course! Let's use this on that. Woo! Great. Yes, what's inside? We got our photograph and a hairpin. Let's examine the photo. Oh, don't we all look happy and gothic? It's so... Oh my god, his eyes are so big. Okay, that's beautiful. Um... Let's see, what's this? Examine that. My hair clip. I should give it a good use. We can go pick the door! My gosh, these are my first thoughts. <laughs> That's probably a bad thing, but let's go pick some doors. It fits, but there are two holes. I need something else. Great. Can I break off anything here? No. Yeah, anything for me? Teddy bear, maybe. I hope somebody loves you. Okay, what else can we use? 
Ghost, can we can we take the cross? No, of course not. Oh, I never touched this. There we go. I'll just take that. That would be great. Can we look out the window? What's out there? Tower defense. We have for you a crazy person called Fren. <laughs> or is it a defense tower? Um, I guess that's my way out. I don't think my head would fit through the window. Yeah. Okay. It's cool. It was cool. Let's just go and uh, break our butts out of this asylum. Really, though, 11 year olds should not be doing this. Shouldn't they be more closely marred than this? Okay. Oh, I have to combine it. Combine hair clip with golden hook. Yes. Ah, uh, won't work. Okay, maybe I have to combine golden hook with the hair clip? Still locked. Okay, but maybe if I use it? Shape is not right. Hmm. Okay, let's examine it. Golden hook that fell off the curtains. Maybe there's something that I missed. Let me go examine the curtains real quick. Maybe there's string or something. Oh, I guess it broke. Yeah, I broke the curtains. Now I can go look outside. Well, yeah, but it's not doing us much good, is it? Empty bottles, empty glasses, towels. I don't think I need those. Oh, here we go. Here's something new. Okay, so nurse, something happened. See, you're nothing but trouble. What is it? I broke the curtains. Now we can look at her desk and see what she's writing more specifically. Okay. Um, I was trying to look outside, but I accidentally broke the curtains. Ugh, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Um, no, I'm cool with not following you. Have fun. I'm just gonna be looking at what you're writing. Okay. She would just go crazy if I touch anything. Better go and talk to her. Okay, so I have to get her out of the room. Okay, fascinating. Yes, okay. Something is missing. Have you seen the hook that holds up the curtains? Oh, uh, what's a hook? <laughs> well, I have to go find something to fix this, you little uh, girl. Uh, bitch. <laughs> oh, we all know what the nurse really wants to say. Okay, let's see what she was writing. Oh, yay, violent trauma can cause, um, can have a great impact on children and totally changing their normal lives. For example, children damaged by trauma can have mild to severe de- Huh. Deficit? De defects? I don't know. Deficits? I, I feel ashamed of myself right now. <laughs> In some abilities such as trusting people near them, seeing the world as a safe place, making decisions, etc. Because of these effects, some traumas can lead to several symptoms of major mental illness. For example, not trusting other people or not feeling safe in the world. This can be interpreted as paranoia. Drawing on the brain, frontal lobe, blah blah blah. Let me see it, traumas. Hmm, trauma is a word the doctor loves to say. <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Gladys. Um, the nurse's handwriting is awful. The patient has been sleeping almost all the time. She only wakes up to drink water, but I don't think she remembers that. After drinking, she goes to sleep again. Uh, she hasn't been social for three days now. Um, same kids have come, uh, some kids have come around and asked about her and when she would come out and play. Okay. And that's our duotine. I'll understand three of these words. 8H. That's something interesting. Oh, I'll keep these patches to stop blood. Ew, her coffee. What's in here? I think it's medicine, but it's locked. Oh, a gun. Can we take that? Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'll leave it as it was. I really need to get out of this place. Okay, then. Do we have... Oh, I needed the spoon, probably. The spoon would probably get us out the door. Quickly, quickly, little friend. Grab the spoon. Yes, the spoon. The spoon. Dang it. Okay, she won't take the spoon. Oh, well. Let's get out of here, shall we? Maybe she left the door open. Maybe the nurse wasn't paying attention. 
Of course, it's still locked. Okay, what we got here? My bills are inside. Oh, I know. Wait, I can use this, right? Hide. Oh, I need to go check the code on the writing again. Okay, one moment, one moment. Now it's all coming together. Okay. Um, da 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 da. H is H, so H945. Okay, H945. Um. Okay, eight, nine, four, and five. Sweet pills. The pills! Kitty told me these would help. <coughs> okay. Let's take our pills. Oh my god. Watch your step. Oh my god, this is how we have to walk around now? Oh, this is messed up. Yay! Excuse me, lady nurse. This may be very useful. I'm sure it will. <laughs> Hello, Miss Nurse. Watch your step. Oh my god, this is terrible. You've got a little blood on your mouth. Are you okay? Fran! Get out, creepy creature. Oh, this is royally messed up. <laughs> will it change if we look outside? No, it doesn't change if we look outside. But, oh my god, that's delightfully terrifying. Oh, I love, like, all this grim stuff. Hello, miss. Who are you? Oh my god. Oh, is that my head? Give me my head back, please. <laughs> oh, this is, this is so messed up. I love it. It was not me. Oh, are you sleeping, sweet bunny? Well, let's go down the stairs of death. Oh, jeez. No, absolutely not. You can't tell her that. But she has to know. You can't keep her away me away from her. Um, the reason is more than clear, Grace. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. Oh, jeez. So Aunt Grace wants to get us out of here, but the freaking doctors are being assholes. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Fox. Was that real? Oh dear, Aunt Grace. I wonder what she has to tell me. The doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Hello, Mr. Fox. Are you enjoying my bed? Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Oh wait, there was something written on the our, our sheet. Oh jeez. Uh, I'll see you in a minute, Phil. <laughs> Oh, wow. I am loving this. Who did it? Wait, who did it? Interesting, interesting. I'm already going to have a suspicion that Aunt Grace was the one who killed our parents. Phil! How are you enjoying being a monster? Why are you looking at me like that? You terrify me. How about you? Phil is playing with his uncle, and the uncle is mad, mad. Okay, you can see. To happiness. Oh, hello, you fucking dear. Oh, fuck you. Um, hello. Oh, no, your head. Oh, I hate deer with a flaming passion. They are creepy. They have freaking stick legs and crap. They are just terrifying little monsters. Fantastic. Now we have our own special key. Great. Let's get the hell out of here and away from that thing. Yes, to happiness. <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, jeez. This is going lovely. Daddy was not there and Mommy would not care. Let's see. What the fuck? Oh. Jeez. I don't want to touch it. It's the clown from the painting. Joy. This is particularly creepy looking. Why do you look like a fabric doll? You should blame yourself. Be quiet. Oh god. You can see. This is the second time we've seen that. Even the purest of things die in this place. Tiny, tiny hands all over you. Eating your soul. Is this how we're going to be playing the game from now on? Where did the clown go? He's dead in the thing. 
We're just going to be seeing things in a never-ending hell from now on. Uh, Mr. Midnight? Yeah, my beloved friend! Bip, bip, berm. If you want to hug me, try to catch me. Berm, bip. If you can't catch me, it's because you haven't found me. Bip, bip. Okay. That's cool. The king liked drawing. I don't like this. What was that? And why is it in the bathroom? Somebody wrote something here. Interesting. Okay. I'm sure nothing terrible is coming. Okay. What? This wasn't here before. I wonder. Oh, neat. Oh, that is cool. Let's see about the kid that was in here. Are you enjoying drawing things? Hello! You see them, you do, right? What? See what? The creatures that follow everyone. Um, the shadows? Yeah. You mean the shadows? Uh-huh. I can't see them, but I know they're there. You know what they are? Yeah, yes. Um, tell me, please. You like to draw? I love to draw. I love it too. Yeah, but tell me about the shadows. Crayon, crayon. I want um, to find a crayon. I draw all the time. What are you drawing? Something. <laughs> okay, what is it? My dreams. Go now. Find me a crayon. Maybe I'll tell you more. Am I right? Okay. <coughs> Ouch. Ouch. Oh. Okay, then. Well, I think... Okay. Oh, let me see. A red puppet and a serpent. A teddy and many other things. Okay, then. Well, it hasn't been a very long episode, but, um, snuggle snuggle, lady on your chair. I think I'm in, in the episode here. Oh, wow. This game, it's so cool so far. Like, I love the art and stuff. The first thing that this made me think of was, um, when I saw it on Steam was, like, American McGee's Alice. And if you don't know what that game is, it's, like, this creepy, dark imagining of Alice in Wonderland. And, like, I used to love just, I never played it as a kid, but when I was, like, maybe five or six, I'd see it in the store and I'd just stare at the cover for, like, hours. <laughs> And stuff because it was just so absolutely beautiful and this reminds me of this and this is absolutely gorgeous so far and it's dark and it's creepy and I'm just I'm loving it and it just reminds me of games like Syria and the longest journey with the like this whole mechanic the click and point combining puzzle solving thing and I loved playing that when I was like in middle school and oh it's just, it's so cool. I'm really enjoying it and I can't wait to continue it. And I hope you guys are enjoying it too so far. So like and subscribe if you want to. And I will hopefully see you in the next video. And thank you for watching.